The dish that I'm going to show you is not a dish that you see every day. It's a weird looking and not particularly appealing at first glance. This black fungus is an edible jello-like fungus and it always used in Asian cooking and considered a very healthy food. In fact, one of the best reasons to enjoy a few of this mushroom is for its health benefits. It has loaded with many vitamins and essential minerals and it's also said that it has potential immune enhancing and antimicrobial properties. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy to make a black fungus salad. But before we start, you need to gather everything. You need some cucumber, some coriander, some or cilantro, onions, garlic, bean sprouts, ginger, lemon zest, radish, honey, sesame oil, vinegar, soy, and of course, your rehydrated black fungus. Well, if you go to any Asian store, you can easily find this, but it looks like this one. It's black and dry. So you have to soak it for about an hour or two to get this texture. So to start with, we need to boil a water and we have to cook this fungus for about two, three minutes. So while we are waiting for that water to boil, we need to remove some parts of this mushroom like this hard part, the middle part of the mushroom. You can just easily cut it with a knife or use a scissor to remove this one. And after you remove that one, you can now cut this one in a half or bite-sized pieces. So yeah, this one is good. So we'll just cut the one in a half. Same with this one, cut in half. half. Once it's been cut into bite-sized pieces, now we can throw this one into boiling water and cook it for about two, three minutes, something like that, or until it's tender. Now before the water comes back to boil, we can also add some chopped onion to it. Now it's been boiling for two minutes. Now it's time to drain the water. And wash it with cold water to stop the process of cooking. So while we're waiting for this one to drain the water, we are now ready to move on to our next step to make the sauce. First off, we need some cucumber. Just roughly cut it into bite size. Same with radish, we'll just cut this one roughly. Thank you. 
You can use sweet pepper if you don't like the taste of Anaheim peppers. Just roughly chop the garlic and ginger. What I do to the ginger, I bruise them first so you can easily chop them into fine pieces. So once we chop all the ingredients, all we need to do now is to cook them. Just saute the garlic and the ginger, vinegar and soy, and then some sesame seeds and honey. We need to oil the pan first, and then we'll throw our garlic in. Followed by ginger. A little bit of chili. We'll throw in some honey. Mix it up. Add a little bit of vinegar. And soy. And don't forget your sesame oil. Mix it up. If you like the taste already of this sauce, now we can throw in our wood ear or black fungus. And mix it up. Now we'll just transfer this one into a bowl. And we can throw the rest in. This is optional. You can skip this part. Just need some lemon zest. And a freshly chopped cilantro. Again, mix it in. Now once it's all mixed up, next thing to do is to throw them in into the fridge and we'll wait for about 30 minutes. And after that, we're ready to serve. Now our salad is nice and cold. All we need to do is to just give it a little mix. Oh, by the way, I already add my bean sprouts in it. So we'll just give it just a little mix and we're now ready for plating. And to plate this one, we'll just throw everything into this plate. Mm.
Mm. I love this dish. This mushroom itself has a little taste on its own, but does have a kind of crunchy texture, which is quite unpleasant. This dish is a perfect dish to make year round. It's fast and easy to make. Let me know in the comment down below, what do you think of this dish? And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon so you get notified once I upload a new video or you don't miss any of my videos. And please share, like, and until then, see you next time.